guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today. And let me tell you, I was in Cincinnati. I think you've already seen the haul. Oh, and Wellington says hi. The haul that I picked up when I was down at Keepsakes, I hit the Mecca Dollar Tree when I was down there. It's in Sharon, Ohio on Lebanon Street, I think. It's in a like a strip mall in a corner, which would have been like the big store. This thing was huge. Just as an example, I walked through the um, like the floral outdoor gardening stuff. And you know how every store has a little something different? They had everything. Like every stuff I'd never even seen hauled before. This store was amazing. So I got a lot of like... Things I had seen that I was like, that's a unicorn. I'm never going to find that. Sure did find it. I was kind of excited. So I have a haul to share with you today. And I'm having hazelnut coffee because, you know, life. First off, I think I talked about this, but I don't remember if I, I know I showed it before, but I bought another four skeins of this chameleon color changing cotton. This is cotton yarn. Um, so I got four more pink and white, yellow, pink, and yellow and white. So I needed more variety. So I bought four more of those. I don't, I didn't buy it yesterday. I think I just hadn't shown it to you. Okay, so let's go. I kind of have things situated. I'm trying to reach here, kids. We'll start with kitchen because it's not a lot. We're going to end with crafts because it is a lot. Um, this is going to be the new pattern for spring. And I know I have already purchased two of this minty color. Um, uh, but I like the flowers for summer. I mean, I love these things. They're great. I use them for all kinds of stuff. And this will be used in my front window. I like to put my plants on it. So if I overwater or spill, it absorbs it. So I grabbed one of those. Um, I finally found the circle. These make, um, the sphere ice molds. This was at my local store here. In, uh, it's in Reynoldsburg right up the street from me, but this makes, um, circles or balls of ice. And I know people use them as a chocolate mold. It is not silicone though. It is like a hard plastic. So just keep that in mind, but I love making these big uh, balls of ice. It's just fun in the summertime, especially. And then I said I wasn't going to, but then I bought more. So I grabbed another very cherry. I enjoy that. I grabbed a Skittles. Fine. And I may ship some of these to my friend in Canada because I don't think they get a lot of these there. And then I got the cherry lime, cherry limeade, the cherry limeade, the Sonic. I love this flavor. So I grabbed two of those. These come, they all have like six sticks. I really need to get over to Big Lots and buy the big 20 pack because that is my best bet. Okay, so I did that. Now, just some general stuff. I grabbed a couple mailing envelopes. I'm mailing some stuff to Canada. For sure, two packages, maybe a third. So I wasn't sure what size I would need. And I have other mailers, but I love these colors. So I got this pink one, a green, and a gold. And if you mail a lot of Christmas stuff, I would start now and buy one or two at a time because I think these would be so fun to mail packages at Christmas. They don't hold a lot. This is a, an eight and a half by 11. So this is a sheet size, but you know, they're padded mailers. Nothing, nothing spectacular, I will say. But one of the things, and we're gonna see if they're gonna fit, is I'm sending, Temptation Treats to Canada, and these are made here. So these are made by Mars, the candy company. It's their pet care line. And the ones I brought the boys back were made in Canada. These are made here in the US. And this is Backyard Cookout. So I grabbed one of each. I'm mailing a friend's that I made at my Stitchy Retreat um, cat toys. And then a dog treat. This is 100% bison. I'm sorry, water buffalo, uh, esophagus, and pizzelle. We're not going to Google what that means because I know what it means, but these are nature's corner. Um, animals love these, and they have a big dog. Uh, if they And if they don't want to use it, they don't have to. 
But I'm hoping, and I'm thinking right now, that this is not going to work in these packages. And that's okay. I have other mailers. So we have that. I have all my receipts for Fetch Rewards, which I need to scan in. Um, housewares, I found one of these. And I've seen these before, but something about this top pottery Talk, took me back to the 70s and I love this mushroom and I feel like it's very ooh, it's way over there now it's very boho feeling the cat the Wellington is over there doesn't even move it rolled right at him and he's like yeah whatever um okay so I, I like that and then I found these at the Mecca Dollar Tree dog cat Luna the boys I love these. I may even spray paint this black and then do the white whiskers because Wellington has white and do this all in white. We'll see. And then for Luna. But these are nice. And this, I believe, is actual glass. Maybe. I can't tell. I think it is glass. Yeah, I think this is real glass and not plastic. And they have some weight to them, which is nice. But if you have somebody with pets, these are fantastic. So I got those just to play around with. Um, in the clothing area, I these are all different stores. These I found today, and they're men's. These are the these are Native Nomad. They're Gold Toe Signature Collection. I don't know how much they really were before I bought them, but these are knit with 100% organic cotton. There's arch support. These are vintage inspired, modern day comfort, native nomad. So these are um, responsibly sourced is the word I was looking for. And it's their vintage line. So these will get gifted to somebody for Christmas and they're nice, thick, heavy cotton man socks. However, I think they would also be fabulous just to wear around the house in the wintertime because I'm all about that life. And then I found some of the um, Yoda, the child socks at my Dollar Tree. I'll take these to a friend who at work because I don't really need Yoda socks, right? I found these, which are three pair software crew white socks. Again, these are really thick and just luxurious and so soft. I mean, they almost feel like there's cashmere in them. And I know there is not, but that's how luxurious they are. These are women's socks. Just says women's gold toe. Um, $14 regularly for three pair. And they're just super soft and they're crew length socks. So we'll see. Um, they may end up wearing being worn with boots. Or, again, I just love socks. So. Or they'll be gifted. I don't know. I grabbed a pack of these. I love these in the summertime. Um, we have to see if they'll stay up. I have an issue. I do not like my socks sliding off my heel. So if they don't work, I will donate them. I'll try one pair. Um, yeah, and these were $14 regular. And these are just black, no-show socks. I love these when I'm cycling or out walking. And you can never have too many pair of black socks. Also when I'm working at my part-time job. And these are silver toe, which I think is a different, it's part of the gold toe line, but it's for all walks of life. And what's interesting is they don't have the um, cuff. This is just knit stitch and they roll at the tippity top. And these are navy blue, gray, and then there's a denim blue and then a navy blue pair. And again, three pairs, nice socks. And these are great, especially if I hold on to these till around the holidays. A lot of places are looking for socks and clothing for people to donate. So that may end up where those go. We'll see. And then the last thing clothing wise I picked up, this is just, I think it's a 2X men's, I'm assuming. Orange as orange can be tank top. And I will tell you what I love these for is pajamas in the summertime when it's warm. 
and I have some cute shorts and I just wear these around the house. So I'll wash it up and I'll put it in my pajama drawer and for the pair of boxers and that's like summer pajamas. <laughs> that might have been a little TMI, but yeah, I love a good tank top to sleep in in the summer when I'm warm at night. So we got that. Now we're into the beauty area and I know I bought some of these and I can't find them. So I bought some more. Um, I wear, I use these, like if I'm drying my hair naturally, I will clip it up like right here while it's drying. It just keeps my hair from falling forward until it's dry. If I let it air dry. So I just keep these in my bathroom, but I lost, I lost the other ones. No big deal. Okay. So this is a five pack of, let's get on the English side, cucumber under eye patches. And the company is Intensive Eye, no, it's Global Beauty. Yeah, Global Beauty, and you get five sets in here. And if you look, they're individually packaged, which is great. And I love these for like your under eye bags and stuff. Uh, it just says anti-wrinkle serum, soothing 15 minute eye therapy, eases puffiness and swelling for all skin types. And you get five, so that's just for me. Also from Global Beauty, I found, and I think somebody talked about a five pack, but this is a one pack, oh, English, moisturizing foot treatment. It's just uh, these, the foot masks, they come with the two little booties. This just has one pair in it. Um, I think I've used all the ones that I have. This has soothes cracked heels and rough dry feet, moisturizes and exfoliates, convenient wearable mask socks. What I do is put these on and then I take a piece, a pair of like fleece socks or, you know, like thick socks and pull over these to have the most contact with, ooh, the most contact with my feet with the liquid that's in here. So you get one pair in here, which is not bad still for $1.25. I don't know if I can, I know I have done these and I've showed you before. I can't get it open, but yeah. So I'm just gonna put this in with my treatments, like my stuff I like to do self care. And then a lavender scented warming eye mask. Um, three, a Chick Plus Three uh, had picked these up. A different brand, I think, of this one, but said that she enjoyed the eye mask. So I said, well, I will give it a try. And this is warming. So you remove any contact lenses and makeup before using the mask. Must use eye mask immediately after opening because as soon as you open, it's gonna start getting warm. Place over your closed eyes with the pattern side out and wait for one minute for eye mask to warm up. Relax and enjoy the warmth and calming lavender scent of the mask until it cools down. I don't have fun. So I'm like, for $3.75, I've got a night of relaxation planned for myself. And I just have a basket under my sink. And when I want to treat myself, I just grab something out of there. And then I found this. This is Luminous Repair and Shine Spray. So it's not hairspray. It's got Aragon oil in it. And uh, la, 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 la. I don't know what else is in here, but it definitely has Aragon oil. So when you're done with your hair, you spray it and you kind of zhuzh it in. And it um, gives you a nice natural shine and it helps moisturize your hair. It says shake well, spray six to eight inches from already styled hair, focusing on mid-length and ends. It is free of parabens, uh, phthalate, sulfate, gluten, and vegan friendly finished product not tested on animals with Aragon oil, hyaluronic acid, and exclusive bond building technology. So it's supposed to like heal and repair. And now that I'm wearing my hair longer, um, you know, I got to take care of my tresses, people. Right? Right? what you say? You think so? You want to say hi? Oh. This is Mr. Wellington. He's like, lady, would you stop holding me? But I want to hold you. I want to hold you. You're so pretty. Yeah. He's not about this life. They're hungry. Okay. All good. I'm almost done. Oh, and I grabbed one of these bags. These are the 100% recyclable, just shopping bags. But I love this one with the watermelon and the like the detail, right? So I, my plan for this is 
I'm already collecting stuff from my next year's cross stitching retreat. Um, things that I realized this year that I would have been nice to have or things I want to share with my table mate. So as I find things here and there, I will just toss them in this bag and then I will know exactly where they are and I'll just keep it in my craft room. So no big deal because we're getting into the crafty stuff. Oh, wait, we have a couple other things. Then we're getting into the crafty stuff. I found the selfie light. Now I have one, but I liked this one because it's rechargeable. And um, when I don't bring a ring light with me, if I'm out and about, these are great to have. So I just grabbed a backup. I don't know how good it is. It, a little bit of light is better than no light at all, as far as I'm concerned. So I will get this charged up and we will try it out and see how good it is. But I had seen a few people haul those and I wanted to try it. And then I also found natural and organic expanding soil so these this block here um this brick will fill four four inch pots nine three inch pots six 18 two inch pots 18 six cavity trays or one three quart pot and you just add water to it and it fluffs up. Now I have told, I've seen uh, these before and I've used them and I found that they dry out a little quicker than regular soil. So what I will potentially do is add way more water than I need to see if I can get it to completely absorb it and then let it dry out a little bit and then use it. But we're gonna try, I got one to try. I love the convenience of these and I'm assuming it just gives you a small thing. Um, it has water, good water retention. Ingredients, 100% coconut and natural wood fiber. So this is wood, not necessarily dirt, just so you know. So I have that. Okay, crafty business. Guys, we got we hit the mother load. First off, I found this fabric for lining some bags or whatever. I love it. It just feels... Also, I could back some of my um, Christmas stitching with this. I love it. It feels very vintage to me. It, to me, it feels like a shirting material. What is it? I don't know, but I liked it. And so I grabbed two fat quarters of this. So that's good. And I've told before, and I will share again, when I store this, I do not store it with the plastic or the sticker on because I feel like after time, this um, adhesive on the back of this labels gets into the fibers. And that's not, that's no bueno no bueno so i will just yeah this will be perfect either a bag lining or to back some stitching projects because i have some that need to be finished but for long-term storage here's what i recommend and take it for what it's worth i recommend that you don't store it with the adhesive sticker uh still attached so this has definitely like a red and a gray kind of heathered feel to it. I think it's shirting material, but whatever it is, it'll be work out perfect for what I need it for. Um, I grabbed a spool of this. I feel like I may have had it, but I wasn't 100% sure. It is honeycomb ribbon. I'm making uh, my name badge for my next retreat that I go to whenever that is. And it might be before Canada next year. Who knows? But I stitched my name on it and I need to make it um so i can hang it like a, a key fob or lanyard so i wanted to get this matching ribbon because there's a b on the front so i grabbed that which i may or may not have had that already but we'll see um this is like life i need to cut this label off because it says how do i take my coffee seriously very seriously this also, if I had to guess, would say it's close to a fat quarter, if not a little larger. It's 100% cotton, and this may become something, like a front and back something, and then I just get a different color liner for it. I looked for two because I wanted more of the coffee bean. But I'm not going to use it as a towel. I don't care for this for towels. It's not absorbent. And I love it for the fact that it is very um, cute. So it may end up just becoming like, I don't know, something. Oh, well, until you are having a bath. But I'm thinking crafting with it more so than kitchen decor. 
Um, I grabbed two of these, and this is an example. I'm going to put one in my bag. These are the glass little jars with the metal lids. Um, if you're a stitcher or a sewer, seamstress, sewing and crafting needles drop down in here, and it keeps it kept all of my needles together and I took a label and I wrote what brand of needle was in here and what size. So if you're a cross stitcher or you do embroidery or anything like that and you have multiple size and styles of needles, you can take a label and just put it on each one. And I'm gonna share these with my table mates because I was telling them about it and they were excited. So I grabbed eight of them. I should probably grab one more package when I see it. Our tables are probably gonna hold eight, six to eight people. I don't know, but I plan on making 10 to 12 goodie bags to share. So I better get one more package of that. Okay, now that we've all determined that we're gonna get one more package. Um, I know I think I have hauled this before, but I don't know where it is, but it's a rectangular, I'm not a rectangular, uh, retractable holder. So it can hold rolled up floss, it can hold paintbrushes, it can hold pens, it can hold markers, it can hold whatever you want up to that big. And whatever size it is, you can screw it down so whatever is in there is tight. And I think I'm gonna like this to hold some of my cross stitching fabric or some of my finishes. So I kind of enjoy this and it has, so it can hang could put floss in here, a million things. So I, first time I've seen it, um, the last couple years, I think I got one a few years ago and then I hadn't seen it since. Sorry, it's Sunday, I'm tired. Um, I don't even know who Dollar Tree thinks they are, but I've yet to see these at my store. They're little three packs of like ombre acrylic yarn. It's the premier yarn that they sell, but look at this one. How cute is that? I just needed to show you. Valentine's, summer, 4th of July, you can mix and match. They're just little tiny skeins and each one has 27.34 yards. So there's, it's probably 50 grams of yarn if I had to say. And I just love them. These are the only two colors that they had. And this was in that Mecca store of Cincinnati. I know. Crazy. I had to show you that. I have more stuff. Oh, look at this. It is, it's ribbon. But I, it just to me, how fun is that? For spring? They had it in green, I think beige, white. I grabbed two spools of this. I'm gonna tie it back on. You get uh, nine feet, just their standard. But it's definitely different. I wanna tie this back together so I don't lose it, right? Because I just feel like this is so fun. For what, who knows, but some type of spring or summer I'm just tying it together here. Bow or addition to a bow. I thought the green was like everything. Well, while I'm filling this up. Boring, but I grabbed a couple trash cans from my bathroom upstairs. Um, the one I had in my bathroom had an unfortunate accident when I was sick and I threw it away. But, so I just grabbed this just for my bathroom, but for now it'll carry stuff upstairs. I know, genius of me. Okay, we're down to the last bit of crafty goodness. These. I know I have hauled them before, but I found a whole new use for them. If, again, you're a stitcher or whatever, magnets stick to this. You, If you have a lot of uh, needle minders, so a needle minder is a magnet that you put on a project and it just sticks, sits there and it's cute. Uh, but it also, your needle will stick to it. You can hang this in your craft space and display all your different needle minders. I loved it that they were magnetic. I didn't, I guess I just wasn't thinking that they would be, but duh, they're metal. But not all metal is magnetic. So I grabbed a couple just to have. 
I may see if my table mates would like something of that nature. I bought the tree that's on the wooden base and I have it, I'm looking over here, I have it sitting on my end table and I have some needle minders stuck to that. And then this is floral garden burlap trim, just some different fun boho inspired trim for projects. I grab one pack and I'm gonna assume you get nine, oh, one yard of each, which is like 36 inches, but that's plenty of just some different trims. So I grabbed that. I only saw this one. And okay, crafty biz. Oh wait, I found some stickers and these, are, they're calling these tech stickers. You get 25 pieces. I'm gonna take one out. Okay, watch out, Bubba. Because to me, a tech sticker is a little heavier. It's waterproof or what, yes. They're water resistant. Now this one's kind of messed up, but that's okay. But so there, I'll show you the one that's messed up. These are like a vinyl sticker. They're plastic. So they're, if they get wet, like if you put them on a water bottle, the condensation's not gonna make them fall apart. But I loved this package. So I got the travel themed one and then I grabbed this one because it has a coffee cup on it. These are great for planners or whatnot. Okay, now I found finally the cross stitch kit. Am I gonna do this? No, do I think it is adorable? Yes. It's plastic canvas, which kills me. It comes with, it's a monogram kit. So I know people were like, I can only find the M. That's because this pad, this one has all the letters M through Z. There's a, there's a pattern in here for all the letters M through Z. And I should have gotten the other one too, because then I could do different letters, but I can do an S. I will do it on cross stitching fabric. I will not do it on this plastic canvas. And then the other craft cross stitching thing were these kits. Now we're gonna open this one up because I'm curious as a stitcher and spending a lot of money on stitching stuff, what quality we get in here. And I think this is great no matter what. And I was like, well, I will always, I can use this pattern. Um, except for I don't know where the pattern is. I guess they're calling, I guess this is the pattern which is weird that is just a picture of the finished product that is weird there's no actual pattern I mean I guess and you get a piece of 14 count like hard Ada and then you get all your flosses and the, oh there's a decent needle in there huh that's a decent sized needle. So it's interesting to me that there is no actual written pattern. I'll show you. And here, this is an actual pattern. So it's done on a grid. This is literally just a picture of a finished cross stitch, which is bizarre to me, but whatever. So we'll figure that out. I mean, I don't think it's that challenging. I don't think it's that challenging. So we'll figure that out. Then I found they had color your own magnets. And I got this 100% for the roller skates. And they're just a picture in here. One coloring sheet and three colorful magnets. There's a boom box in here. Uh, roller skates and looks like a video game maybe. Oh, an old fashioned flip phone. <laughs> so that was fun. These were all found at that store in Cincinnati. And then this fabric, it's tie dye fabric, which tells me it has to be 100% cotton, right? Like, because you, you can't dye, you cannot tie dye on fake cotton, and it is, it's just a piece of cotton, just a 100% piece of cotton. And it says here, yeah, oh, 64% cotton. No, 64% polyester. Hi, 30% cotton. 
they cheated you. It won't die as well, but it's a nice big piece of fabric, which, hey, I'll use this for lining something when I make a bag or whatever. I just found it interesting. I've never seen any of this stuff at my local Dollar Tree before. And I was like going crazy grabbing stuff to share with you. And I wanted to bring it home and I will make it work somehow. So this package, it just says DIY cloth. And it was with the tie dye stuff. They also had hand gloves and then they had sleeve protectors in the crafting. I think you got like 20 pairs of these like things that went over your arms. So fun. All right, guys, that is everything I got. Sorry for the weird lighting. It's uh, odd time of the day here, but I needed to get this video out to you. So I will talk with you later and you have a fantastic day.